So here is the Bordio tutorial for beginners. Bordio is a web-based platform that helps users organize tasks, projects, events, and notes. It can be used for personal productivity or team collaboration. So first of all, let's go ahead and check out their pricing plans. So once you're in the pricing section, you will get to see all the available plans that they offer. And as you can see, for individuals, it's free. And for organizations, it's $0.99 per user per month. So from the homepage, you can log in or click on Try Bordio for free. So after that, on this section, you can put in your email or sign up with Google. Then click on Continue. After that, wait for it to load up. And on this section, you need to set up your account. So go over to the Time Zone section, then scroll through and select the one that you want. Then, you need to select the time format and date format. Then, you need to select the week format. Once done, click on Continue. On the next page, select the relevant option to customize your Bolgeo workspace. So, I will select for organizing personal tasks. After that, just wait for it to load up. And on this section, you can activate or block reminders. And I will choose Block for now. And as you can see, we're now in the Bolgeo workspace. You can see all the active tasks over here. Right now, these are the default tasks added by Borgio. And if you go over to the left panel, you will get to see all my activities and projects. Then you have tasks, calendar, and notes. And if you select calendar, you will get to see all the tasks by date. And on the top, if you select this drop down, you can select different days to view its tasks. Now, let's go ahead and click on Notes. This is where you can add notes by clicking on Add Note on the top. Now, let's go over to Tasks. And as I mentioned before, this is where you will get to see all your tasks, including their details. And if you want to add new tasks, click on Add New on the top. You also have Table View and also Kanban Board. And right beside the board, you have Filters. So let's go ahead and click on Add New. This is how you can add new tasks. So first of all, you need to put in a name for your tasks. I will type in Tutorial. Then, you need to add a task description. So type in a description for your task. I will type in something like Video Editing. And below, you have the option to customize your text. You can set different text styles. Then you can make it bold, italic, underline, and also use all of these features to customize. Then, you can attach files to your task. You can also add subtasks. And on the right side, you have created in. Here is currently in my workspace. Then you have type. You can select any one from these options. After that, select the status for your task from this list. Then you have assignee, which is me. Then set a starting date for your task. After that, you can select an estimated time. So scroll through the options and select the one that you want. Lastly, you have due date. Select a due date for your task and then use the attach file, add tag or add subtask feature if you want. So as an example, I will add a subtask as research and then if you want, you can add additional subtasks. So once you're done with all the inputs, click on create task. After that, your new task will be created instantly and your newly created task will be added here, right under the Active Tasks section. So here, let's go down to the bottom, and as you can see, our new task is right here. If you click on it, you will get to see its detailed view on the right side. And here, under the Status section, you can see the new task is scheduled, and over Type, you have Strategy. Here, you can choose any of these options to change it, also, you can select Edit Types and then go through these options to make changes. You have options like Display In, Tasks, and Events. So this way, you can easily customize the task type. Now, let's go ahead and click on the Project section on the left panel. Here, click on this plus icon right beside Projects. After that, you can select from Create Project or Create Folder. So after that, you need to name your project in this section. So I will go ahead and type in Project 1. Then, you can click on Add Users and then put in their email addresses over here. Then click on Invite to invite new users. 
Once done, just click on Done. After that, on the default types, you can select default type for tasks. Then, you have default type for events. Select one from the options. This way, you can customize your project type according to your preference. Once done, just click on Create Project. After that, your new project will be created. And if you look over to the top left corner and go to the project section, you will notice that your new project is added. So click on Project 1. So as you can see, there are no tasks yet. And just like before, you can go over to the top and select these options in order to customize your project. So now, let's go over to the left panel and click on the three dots right beside the project name. After that, you will see all of these options to customize it further. You can also delete your project if you want. Now, on the Tools section, let's go over to People. This is where you can see all the members on your project or add users. And you can add different users here, just like we saw before. So invite people to your project just like this. Now, let's go ahead and click on All My Activities on the left panel. Then scroll down to the bottom and select the task that we created. On this section, you can use all of these options to customize your task. Starting with status, then we have type due date assignee. Also, you can repeat task if you want. On the bottom, you have this time block option. Using this, you can specify time durations for each task. And on the right, you can use this chat box to type in messages and also attach files or images to your task. And on this time block section, you can click on the start option to start your timer. This will show the time spent on each task, and the plan section will show the time that is set for this task. You can also see today's date over here. This way, it's so much easier to manage tasks and the time spent behind each task. And using this Add Tag feature, you can add tags for your tasks. Now, let's close this up and select Calendar on the Tools panel. Here, as we mentioned before, you can see all the tasks for different dates. And if you want to add a new task or event, just click on this plus button and select the one that you want. Using this, you can set different tasks and events for different dates. So now, let's go ahead and select any task from the calendar. And as you can see, all its details are here. You can also click on these three dots beside the task and use these options to make changes to your task. Now, let's go ahead and go over to Notes on the Tools section. Here, click on Add Note. And as you can see, we now have the option to add a title to our note. So let's go ahead and type in a title. After that, right below it, you can type in whatever that you want to add to your note. So here, I will just type Welcome as an example. And if you notice on the top right side, there's a timer that we started earlier. Now, let's click on My Workspace on the top left. From here, you can view your workspace settings. Also, you can create organization from here. So on the workspace settings, you will get to see all the different settings and also customize them if you want. And that is exactly how you can organize all your tasks, events, to-do lists, ideas, projects, as well as teamwork just by using Bojio as a beginner.